everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Evil Space. And as you can see, I've uh, made a few changes over here. Um, one of the things that was kind of bugging me was uh, the amount of time it's taken the coal, the coal and the coke to transfer from one machine to the other. And apparently it's intentional that they won't actually fill this more than the maximum recipe. So what I've done is I've actually just got three arms to move three at a time, so that's why we're getting 12 in there. It gets uh, about 25% faster because... Three, three times three is nine, and one more. So, yeah. So that's been keeping this thing running a little bit quicker. Uh, you get to do the same thing over here. I got two arms feeding off the belt into the blast furnace. Uh, I have upgraded everything over to the steel tier. Uh, I have gone through a lot of steel. I'm uh, not gonna lie about that. Uh, that's because I have made a whole bunch of uh, conveyors. I don't know how many I got in here. I got eight, nine hundred, I think. Okay, 700. I made 700 steel conveyors because uh, we're going to need them eventually. Uh, but I have done a, a few things around. Um, we'll, we'll talk about that in a second here. Um, I did a little bit of work over here and I was trying to get a little bit of a decorative setup. And I set up like this pot light system here. So it's just a whole bunch of lights inside now that are using the, the white block to sort of reflect the light down. No, it doesn't really matter. Uh, one thing I have noticed though is that the blocks do seem to be... Uh, transparent because if I go across like this light still gets through so it's possible building ideas uh, you notice the chests up top I have created a, a simple return system uh, all it is is we'll run into the back here uh, just put an arm there uh, facing down to the rack so anything I put into the chest goes back into the rack uh, if, if the rack's already set if I put something I don't I've don't mean to put in there, it's not going to take it out because the arm's got nowhere to put it, so let's just take out, for instance, the stone bricks there, or the stone tiles there. Uh, this side is running a little bit faster because this is, this is all steel as well, everything, even the, the terracotta lines, but they're not functioning at the moment. Uh, this has been a bit of an issue though, because uh, as I've been upgrading things, we've been hitting a bit of a tipping point. We'll go run over to our uh, heat source here. Now, this used to be 600, and it's been slowly going down. I'm actually consuming more than I'm producing right now. Uh, I can upgrade these furnaces, or I can add the other eight. I might add the other eight anyways, but uh, we're going to have to upgrade them to steel. I have done a fair bit of research, got cutting machines and uh, advanced circuits, which I just finished, and a few others. Uh, developers been busy too. We have uh, gas dumps now, which is basically... Uh, uh, a pile on that you burn off gases. That's going to be fun to play with. Uh, there's a few other things he's added to it. I honestly can't remember what they are, but he's been he's been working pretty hard getting things going and all that stuff. But uh, yeah, what we got to do is we got to start uh, researching this. Start researching that. I don't know how many circuits I have. I don't have any on me. I'll have to make some. Um, but there was a few things I was going to do. What was I going to do? Okay, we're going to work on that. Uh, hang on. I remember now. And no, it didn't take me all night to do it. I just quickly changed it uh, night to day. Uh, I wanna, we're going we're gonna to have to upgrade this. Because if I upgrade the, this to keep up with that and that and eventually that. And then anything else I add to this. Uh, this is going to have to be upgraded. Because I am slowly losing coal here. Or coal coke. This was 1992. Not too long ago. Probably like 15, 20 minutes ago. This was 2037. Uh, the other two are okay. They're still full because they're the, they're not being used as much. But anyway, so that means I gotta I'm gonna have to upgrade the the coke ovens and the farms in here. Uh, let's go grab some steel. I have some stone on me. In fact, actually, what tier do I have in there? <sighs> I hit the light. Put some lights up there just as like decoration, but kind of hit me when I get up there. So what do we have? We have one. Okay. So this is all going to be two. Uh, so yeah, let me get some circuits researched and get some stuff manufactured. We'll replace all that. And then uh, uh, by then I'll have the, the tier two furnace and then maybe I'll do something with the, uh, the other eight furnaces. So I'll be right back. Oh, there's one of the things he's changed. He's ch changed the crafting queue a little bit, so it tells you how much is how many operations are left in each 
crafting batch, for instance, like this is just me shift clicking, but if you click to one, then what do you have individual ones? Uh, so that's one of the things he's done. Uh, another thing I actually want to do today is I want to start to get the concrete going. Uh, we got the mixers, got mining rigs, and a whole bunch of stuff. I haven't, I haven't had any plans on doing any building this episode, uh, but uh, probably in the next one because, you know, got to get this concrete going. Uh, we'll just wait for these last circuits to go. That's an auto save. They get longer and longer. I'm not surprised I built a lot of blocks, but we've only begun. Uh, I also want to try to get some sort of automation going on this when the time comes. So I need... Might as well go with the drilling rig too, because I think we need five and five for concrete, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken. Uh, concrete, one and five. Okay, one limestone to five stone. Hmm. Okay, then I only need th three rigs in. I'll have one doing limestone that'll feed both um, concrete line and reinforced concrete line. And go from there. No, I do have conveyors, so that's good. So go here. We'll need one, two, two, three miners. Uh, I will have to put these on the system. I do realize that. Uh, research is still going. What have we got left here? Uh, 40 of those. So we'll be done in a few minutes. Okay, making the miners. I guess I should take it some parts too. I also want to try to get everything going to sort of a centralized warehouse. Uh, I have been thinking about a build for this. Oh, I gotta need two mixers. And. Hold on, do I want two or do I want three? I'm sorry, th just thinking out loud here. Okay, uh, let's see here. Uses on this. So yeah, it comes out of one mixer, goes into another mixer. So then I'll make three mixers. And then we'll have to get another steel line going just for this. And that's just how I go. Okay. So, I was thinking about setting it up over here. And I do have an area sort of laid out. You know, try to keep sort of all the building stuff in one area. I love the sound of that thing. You go up to it, you can just feel the heat, but it won't burn you. Okay, so let's, uh, I guess we'll just go ahead and just drop the miners down. Um, yeah, actually, we, yeah, we almost got those furnaces done. Let's go get this set up and then we'll worry about the, the power situation afterwards. And a big hole and I just fell in it, of course. Uh, of course I did. Uh, hmm. Might make more sense, but the... Conveyor first. I'm not gonna make it. Of course not. Now, I've had my have jetpack fill up before. While I was underwater, it's not gonna do it this time. I'll be back. Well, this is interesting. Uh, it appears that it maybe my delivery system that is too slow. I watch the conveyor belts are extremely slow, so I need to investigate that. Let me do that quickly. Okay, so I'm gonna try to do this. Uh, I think the conveyor belt should be okay. I think it's just a matter of the one arm, which is basically doing four seconds per one piece. So I'm going to do that with the other ones, and we'll see how this holds up. Okay, that's actually going. Uh, the, the belt's actually full, which is a good sign. Uh, this is done. Uh, I forgot we actually got to... I actually got to start researching the arm, uh, automatic farm too, because if we're upgrading the coke ovens, we're going to have to definitely upgrade those. Uh, I do have some circuits going. I should probably make a few more if I can. Just get those processing, and then uh, then we'll start. Start. Not sure what I can do. Actually, I'll just, uh, make the circuits first before I clog up my crafting uh, crafting queue. But uh, got this in the furnace three now, so that is good. Oh yeah, we're going to uh, misc here and. Sure, that should be enough. And what was it? What was the other thing I needed? Oh yeah, the furnaces. What am I missing for the furnaces here? I need a furnace. If 
furnace is stone, so I'm actually missing plates. Good thing I got plates right here. Uh, I've also been thinking too about setting up some sort of recycling system. So um, I can dump a bunch of stuff into a chest and it goes through like a whole whole batch of disassemblers. If they're actually in right now, I don't know if he's got them in. Let's see here. Nope, it's not currently in, in game right now unless I'm spelling it wrong. But I don't think I am. No. No, not in there, but we can uh, eventually recycle the parts. I think that's what what uh, this thing is supposed to be. It's not currently in the game, but yeah, it gives you the stuff. Oh, it's getting dark. Uh, the furnaces are almost done. I was going to say, why is it not crafting? I realized I was auto saving, that's why. Oh, I like that. It's flashing because I don't have the inventory space. I gotcha. All I had to do was just sort because it wasn't stacking. Alright. That's the wrong button. Of course it is. Why would it be me if I was hitting the right, right button? Alright. So let's get these ones out. And then we'll replace those arms too. And then hopefully this runs a little bit better. Definitely got some sort of, I guess I think it's some sort of sculpture or a thing to make out of these heat pipes. Just because they're gonna have it. I honestly don't care about the, the arms. They could despawn for all I care. It's just copper in a game where you have limitless resources. Who cares? Okay, and that means I have to make more arms too. Of course I do. Let me work on my inventory. I'll be right back. I got him, man. I actually do like that. The fact that it's actually starting to uh, glow less, I guess. Starting to dim as the power drops and tells you exactly how much you have. I like it. It's a nice battery. Okay, arms are done. Alright, so... Uh, is this the right way? Sure, it's going up. That's all that matters. It doesn't matter where it goes, because as long as it goes in the furnace, that's all that matters. Okay, and now where those furnaces? One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and eight. So now the arms should be moving a lot faster. And we should be producing more than what we're using. Perfect. Okay, so now, uh, next plan of action is to upgrade those. But I'm still researching the farms. I'm probably going to make more circuits. Uh, so. So I should go check on this because I know this is going to start going down pretty quick because this side isn't going to be able to keep up. Yeah, we've already, wow, lost 100 out of there already. All right, we'll take care of this. I'll bring you back when the research is done and I got the stuff made for this. And You know what, while we're waiting, we should get that concrete going. I do have the heat. Uh, capacitor's building up. Go in morning and so basically it's gonna be I'm gonna need racks to Okay. Okay, I had to actually make sure I was recording. Alright, so I got a bunch of stuff made. I have got some racks made. I meant to click, not shift click. Uh, these are just gonna be like storage areas for now for the, the concrete and well I guess we're gonna end up doing everything the concrete and the concrete tiles, concrete bricks. Let's actually see what the recipe is on that. Go to decoration. All right, so we start with uh, concrete tiles. Concrete tiles is just concrete to a cutting machine. Okay, and then we use that. Get the small tiles, and we use that. To another cutting machine, gets bricks. Okay. I gotta do some math here. <laughs> 
Well, it's a question. Well, I guess I do actually want to get everything going then. Hmm. I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need some more miners. I think. Yeah. Let me uh, figure this out. Okay, I'm back, and I do have everything ready for on me. Uh, farms, uh, farms have been uh, researched and built, and same with all the coke ovens and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and first take these things out, which probably I don't have the inventory space for. Oh, I do. What do you know? Okay. Also, it was mentioned too that I don't actually need the pumps there, but uh, they're there anyways. I don't know why I'm not picking that up. Put you there, and there, oh, can't walk to that, half of it's been placed, only when it's green like that. Alright, alright, set you to wood. Is that producing more? Oh, it's, I don't know. Oh, it's definitely going faster, that's for sure. Pick that up. I could have sworn I had him in my inventory. Uh, that's weird. Alright, so that's producing more wood. That means I gotta replace everything up here, including the conveyors. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work from, my, work from the top. Uh, yeah, work from... Start at the top and work my way down. That's what I mean. I might have to upgrade, the, uh, upgrade that conveyor. Probably not, though. Alright, so down we go. Uh, let's see if I can actually sneak this in here. Of course I don't have inventory space. When do I have inventory space? Never. Hmm. Oh, let's uh, toss that. They're not going to let me pick up the coke oven though. What's going on here? Okay, I did pick it up that time. All right, so basically what I gotta do is I gotta put new coke ovens in here. Let's see if I can actually jump up and do this. Be a miracle if I could. I think I might be able to rotate it that way. Too high. Time it right. Okay, going a little too late. That was too high. See if I can actually land on that block. That might help. And it does. Thank you. Okay, actually, I gotta replace that arm too. But I'll save you the trouble and I'll be back. Okay, so it is all, all taken care of. This one is already running, so that is good. Uh, we'll have to check up on that later. I don't know how long the fuel is going to last. Uh, but we do have some buffer, so it's not the end of the world. All right, and of course, we don't need to worry about checking on that. So I had gone and made a whole bunch of stuff. I made 12 cutters, made more. I didn't make more miners. I should do that right now. Okay, so the miners are being produced right now. I uh, got everything basically ready, and I think. See, I've got to make sure I have enough have enough room because I only need to have a mixer and up to three cutters in a line. And I'm thinking. I'm trying to figure out where I want to get this set up now. Because uh, I'll bit of a spoiler. There's going to be a huge, giant, massive build in here. I'm uh, sort of thinking of some ideas of what I'm going to do, but I think this will work. We might have to move this later, but... Yeah, I think this will be good. I'll probably start about... Probably about here. You know, I've got to have a reason to, walk, reason to walk by this flaming fire hazard. <laughs> That's the only way I could really put it. So, I've worked it out. We're going to need three block, three, blo three block space. Or two block space, so... More. Uh, more or less the mixture is one block wide. We're going to need an arm on each side and we'll have to pipe and water in somehow. So it's going to be like that. There's going to be eight different things. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that has been counting with BC. Thank you for watching. All right. <laughs> so yeah, so that's going to be eight. Yes. And it's going to be... 
yeah, I'm probably going to have the regular concrete, so concrete, concrete tiles, concrete small tiles, concrete bricks, and then reinforced concrete, reinforced concrete tiles, reinforced concrete small tiles, reinforced concrete small bricks, or bricks. Yeah. So if that's the way it's going to be, then uh, I have to plan ahead, because I want to have this side uncut, and this stuff is going to be triple cut. So let's go ahead and take some arms. So it's going to be one, two, three four so that's gonna be three three cutters one there one there one there that's gonna be the same over here but only two cutters and over here one cutter and this one's just gonna come right off the conveyor okay and now the cutting machines i have actually done the math so i know how many i need uh which side do i want this on doesn't matter yes and i realize i can do that too Makes it so much easier. And then wash, rinse, repeat. So I'll take care of this. All right, just like so. So as you can see, it's just mirrored on both sides. Uh, the mixers are gonna be going here. Uh, like I said, I have made eight of them. Uh, it doesn't matter which side the output is, actually. I get water in here too. There's a kinetic in the back. Uh, water can go in anywhere. I can put a pump up here. Uh, we're gonna have to get an aquifer going. Alright, so everything's going to be in line with that one. You know, I, I like being uniform and being consistent with things. I won't say I have OCD because I don't. Everybody can say they have an o OCD. And I think every YouTuber out there says, oh, I have OCD, I have OCD. No. You want to see OCD, you look that up. You'll see some serious OCD. Alright, and so now we just go over here. We add a few more arms because we need them. I actually need a lot of arms now that I think about it. Uh, I'm going to need to make some more. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm just about done crafting everything. Uh, a thought occurred to me and it just, just occurred to me now. I'm looking at the fuel supply. It's like, why is it going down? Like, it should be should be maintaining that. I remembered I didn't change these arms out. Same with the arms up top there. So I got to replace another eight arms. So let me do that and we'll you know, bring you back and then we'll start setting up the miners. Okay. And that's definitely much better. We'll see if the uh, see if the fuel supply holds up. Oh, hang on, I clear my throat. Okay, yeah, go figure. I uh, start recording. I go raspy. So I've got the heat pipes in already. I've got them all set up in the back here for all the mixers, and I do have them all going through, connected to the grid. We are up to 723 megajoules right now. We're power is not an issue. We don't have to worry about that. That's for sure. I have made a whole bunch of Sterling engines. And we're going to be all steel on this. And we're going to see how much it actually ends up using. Uh, I do have to get an uh, uh, atmosphere condenser going too. I gotta check recipe, see how many I need. And then, uh, yeah, I'm just going to probably have a couple. I probably have a couple of them set up and just have them piping water to the machines. Alright, and let's uh, get this back all right and of course we cannot forget about the conveyors made enough of them i might as well use them right oh yeah that's gotta go one one more if i can actually place properly and i, I can't tell you how many times i fell down there and it's really starting to bug me because you know the only way i could get back out if i use my jetpack is you, doesn't refill when you're in the water you have to actually be on ground for it to refill and yeah it was uh, a bit of a pain what was i doing oh i still like engines yeah so let me finish rambling and i'll be right back okay i'm back and not without forgetting something but first let's check and see what we're doing here 1736 so it's going up that's good for now until we fire up this bad boy i got a lot of sterling engines here but what I forgot was reinforced concrete it needs to be mixed with regular concrete. So I had to get four more mixers in here. So these make concrete, they pass it over to here. And then this makes reinforced concrete. Uh, I do have to get a few more arms on. I just realized that. And this is what I like about games like this is it's so easy just to place anything you want. You know, games without gravity, for instance. All right, so uh, that is going to be that. So then from here, I have made some more shelves. There's going to be... Uh, let's see here. I guess I'm gonna have to get one 
miner for stone for each one. And then two for limestone. So I think I made... Oh, I made 12 rocks. Good. All right. I think what I'll do is I'll just put the... Put the stone in the back because it's got to be fitted from the side in this case. I'm trying to think of the best place for this. Could put it there. Let's just do that. I'm not worried about the pipes or conveyors or uh, anything else because it's going to be fed in any side that it needs. The only place I really need to have a port is the kinetic. Okay, uh, I got miners now. So that is going to be eight for the, the stone. So let's actually get those laid out now. Of course, get more arms. I don't know how I've managed to place that. It's me. It's the only answer. It's the only answer there is. It's it's me. I can tell him I need a, need a hell of a lot more arms. Oh yes. All right, and then same thing here. These go on the side like this. But I have these configured, so they go 45 instead of uh, instead of no. So they go 180, not 45. And I put that in the wrong spot. Yeah, let's move that. Anyways, you get the idea. Okay, so I got all this set up. And now for the limestone. Now, I've been thinking about the limestone. I think what I might do is I'll probably end up putting a shelf at either end and have it feed to all four of them. Uh, what would be the best place? It's basically what I wanted to do is I wanted to, take, to pick it up and put it on a conveyor. The conveyor is going to go the, the length of the four. Dumped off, and I think that might be the best idea right there. We'll do one there, and, and now I realize I got, have the extra space because the miner is a three by three. Yes, I'm gonna have all the miners in a row. Why not, right? All right. Uh, clicking too fast, I think. And like so, okay, and go up here with the conveyor, uh, actually let's, let's get the arm down first, and then basically what it's going to be, if I can get it, uh, let's see here, I'm trying to think here, oh, no, yes. It's gonna be like uh, arms gonna be like that coming out. Go do the same on the other side. I'm gonna get the rotation so I don't have to change it. And that's actually in the wrong spot too. You know what? We'll keep it. We'll keep it. I'm gonna just place the arm like that. Sure. And then I'll just have the conveyors going across the top here. And on the other side. So I'll go over here. Uh, I'll grab a conveyor. Hit the right buttons here. Come on. You know what you're doing. Alright. I'll run across. And this is just going to go to here. And then I'm going to hop up top if I can. And then from here. We're going to do this. So it pulls off the conveyor from the back, puts it in the machine like so, and BC's your uncle. No, that's not how the saying goes, in case you're wondering. And of course I do have to configure them. You're going to go left like so, uh, left like so, and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm just going to have an L, L shape coming out and then run across the back of these four here. Same idea where it's going to deposit into the top. And then we'll get a bit of a steel line going as well. Yeah, steel line going as well. Okay, just like so. Bit of a mess. I, I like my I like my machinery. So now it's a matter of getting all the miners out, and hopefully I can get them all lined up in a good spot. Yeah, I just want to make sure that I'm taking the conveyor with me, because it's so much easier to line it up. 
Where are you? You're over here, are ya? Alright, uh, let's see here. Let's go right up to the back wall. Ooh. We're going right up to here, are we? Sure. Alright. Seven more to go. Actually, ten more to go. Okay, so I got all the miners all set up. I got the heat pipe going out there. Uh, apparently, I'm sitting on lava, and apparently lava is really, really difficult to mine. Uh, it doesn't hurt me, though, so that's good. I uh, was thinking about the, the steel plate situation. I think I'm going to double up that line. Double that line right there. Have it all making uh, the parts. But we're actually getting a surplus coming off of these two lines, so I'll probably get a an arm pulling off there and feeding these other lines over here. Uh, so what we're going to do is I'm going to copy that but I'm going to have the blast furnaces and the machines at this end here because they got to load up into these these here or uh, these front four ones here. So let me do that and okay so here's what I got uh, basically exact copy of the other side here uh, everything is steel I'm just waiting on a very long crafting queue to get some heat pipes going uh, but I might also go ahead and start pulling uh, the ores off the belt here uh, I'm gonna go ahead with the copper conveyor for now because I think that'll hold up for uh, at how fast it processes the steel so what I want to do is I want to sort of keep it that height and then just have it drop straight down into uh, in from the top now I do plan on build, put, putting a building around this thing eventually uh, or I'll keep the steel outside and then it gets piped in through a hole in the wall for instance and goes into the, the concrete but what I think I'm going to do because I'm pretty sure the arm should pull out of the junction I know the junction won't work as a splitter you can it'll work as a merger but that's about it so let's uh, try something here Let's go up. I'll land on the belt. Uh, I don't know which one really matters. Because we're doing so much doubling too. So do this one here. See if I can get it off this side. Or better yet. Do it this way. Because I have no idea if this will work or not. Alright. And I'm going to try a conveyor. It does work. Cool. Alright, so we do the same thing on the other side. You didn't see that. Actually, you did. Unless I cut it out. Did I? Nobody knows. Actually, you do know, because I'm too lazy to cut it out. Not that I can afford an editor or anything like that. I'm just a little hobby YouTuber. Huh. Interesting, I don't know you could stand on these things. Okay, so then, from here, it's just a matter of connecting this to the thing. Oh, these autosaves. Just as I start to do something, it decides to autosave on me. Alright, um... Yeah, because we've got the other one there, too. Hmm. I'm trying to think. It'll have to offset. So if I place it... Actually, I gotta go back one. To there. Now, can I jump and reach it? I think I can, actually. Let's see if I can do this. No, oh, I didn't quite get it. Too high. Come on, I know I can do it. It's like trying to jump and hit a rafter on your school. There we go, I got it. Haha. <laughs> okay, and then I just go to uh, here. Okay. And uh, this one I think I might have to block up. Or as they say in Minecraft, a nerd pole. Oh, it's right here. And I did place too far. That's fine. Alright. We go like that. So we rotate you uh, downwards. Okay, and... You did not do what I wanted you to do. 
You get the idea. I'm going to do that with both of them, and I'll bring you back. Okay, I'm back, and I think I am done. Yes, I am recording. Uh, went ahead and finished everything up uh, off camera because uh, we're getting close to time. Well, probably at the end of time. But this is what I've got set up. So I've got the steel line all set up here. Uh, I've got both sides. I just got to put the uh, sterling generators on. I haven't put that on that on anything yet because I want to watch the. Uh, I'm going to call it power, even though it's not power, but I'm going to, I'm going to watch uh, the reserve drop. So, yeah, I've got this all set up here. I've got, uh, I had to put the shelves on their sides because it just wasn't going to work out right with what, how I wanted to have those arms set up. So I've put the shelves on the sides so that I'm just going to take it out and put it up onto the, uh, the conveyor here. Uh, this conveyor is, well, this, both these lines are going to be making uh, parts. Uh, which go into the here, go into the conveyor line, and then get fed into the front machines here, the first four. And that's going to be for the reinforced concrete. These back four here are already set up for the concrete. Uh, we've got the limestone set up. Uh, those ones over there are concrete as well. Uh, I don't know how this really all works. Uh, like the... How the pumps are. I know the... Uh, atmospheric condenser has an output, but the uh, uh, mixers don't have an input. So I'm, I, I'm assuming I have to have the pump on the mixer. And that's just my uneducated guess. But anyways, uh, this is all set up, ready to go. I got uh, two atmospheric condensers on there. I've got 16 mixers. I have the miners all ready to go. Uh, they're all warmed up. I just got to go ahead and set them so let's go ahead and start getting the rest of our things down Ooh. almost fell down again I'm my own worst enemy sometimes I tell you I'm trying to spleef myself half the time all right uh, yeah anyways so those ones have it I just gotta get all the cutters cutters and no oh, the cutters already have it. it's a steel line that needs needs to be done uh, yeah so let me do that and I'll be back I just had one of those moments. I'm standing up here waiting for the, the iron to go through and start getting processed and going to the machines and I realized, wait a minute, I never set the miners up. So let's go run over here. I uh, just gotta make sure that the two end ones are gonna be limestone. Would you believe I have 700 conveyors out here? 68 block, 68 conveyors from there to here. All right, so you are gonna be a limestone. You are gonna be stone and stone and rinse and repeat okay you are set uh, you are set let's see yeah you're doing stone you're doing stone 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 and guess guess what limestone all right so it's going to take a, a few minutes and some leg for this to all work its way down i know i'm really pushing it now well, not even close <laughs> i want to, to go all satisfactory on this thing but at least with this game you can actually build something besides the standard ugly walls that you can paint anyway this is going through. Let's see how we're doing on consumption. We're not bad yet, but we haven't even got the concrete being made yet. So, uh, yeah, I'll bring you back with an update. I had another one of those moments. Concrete's going through, but the reinforce isn't going through, and I'm wondering, well, why isn't the steel being produced? Farms need water. I forgot the Sterling engine. All right, so it's going to be a few more minutes before this goes through. So these should be getting water. This should be producing water right now. And it's going to go into the other one first, isn't it? Yes, it is. All right, so back to the waiting game. While we're at it, let's have a look at this concrete texture because I heard it wasn't that great in the beginning, but apparently it's been changed. So let's have a look at it, shall we? You know what? I like it. I don't know what it looked like before, but let's, let's have another look at it. 
try to get. Yeah, looks like pavers. I like it. The only thing is, though, is how the texture's kind of cut off like that. It's only on two sides of the block. See, it's not on these two sides here. Or that side, for that matter. Where? Where's he got it? Oh, yeah. So the texture is off a little bit. As you can see, it should probably should be over a little bit so you can see this strip on this side here in fact I'm gonna take a quick screenshot of this and maybe it's an own bug I don't know so that's going through while we're waiting let's uh, check everything else out take one of those uh, take one of those and of course take one of these and we'll have to wait a minute for those to come through all right, so we have concrete, all right, concrete tiles, small tiles, and brick. Yeah, I actually like these. It's a big change from the regular concrete. I think uh, the regular concrete could have a little more gray to it than the brown. Because uh, I know they do have concrete like that, but anyways, uh, I'll bring you back when the reinforce is through. Okay, we are rolling. Uh, I had to make a slight change. I had to separate the two steel lines because uh, all the parts were coming out, come, going into these first two mixers. So I just split it up so one line is going into the first two, the other line is going into the other two. I switched the arms over from steel to copper, so they're a little bit slower. So hopefully everything can keep going. It's not looking like it's going to very well. See, I'm on a robot arm one there. It all ends up in the first one. Hmm. I know if I can get the arm going straight, like straight down, then it should be okay. All right, again, this is not something we're mass producing. As long as it trickles in, it's all that matters. But anyways, before we end this here, let's have a couple of quick looks at what we got here so this is reinforced concrete oh that's nice yeah I could see myself using that okay and then we got the tiles which are about the same and the small tiles are gonna be just as similar Go ahead and place that there. Yep, just like so. And let's have a look at the bricks. And there we go. Actually, I could come in useful. But there we go. Uh, finally got some uh, reinforced concrete going, or concrete and reinforced concrete. Uh, there's a few other things I want to mass produce. Uh, one is getting some just straight up lump production going and uh, a, gl a glass line I think I talked about that a few episodes ago more or less just a miner going into a macerator into another macerator to create sand and then goes into a furnace but let's see how we're doing here because we're running full capacity right now and we're just reaching capacity I know uh, capacity was like 521 or something when I was filling up the system so there we go. It was honestly it's four hours of work here right now for me. But we have it. We have more stuff to build with and have a conveyor over my head. I like to go up and perch up top and look at my builds if I can get up there. There we go. Alright, so there we go. I have uh, got concrete going. We got uh, the power plant doubled up right rare and go. Uh, we upgraded our furnaces for now. Uh, I do have other ideas I want to be doing with uh, this kind of setup, but we'll we'll get to that when the time comes. But anyways, as the sun sets, I say thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.